Hi, I'm Brett Hoover, and with me today is Dr. Amit Basanji, Chief Technology Officer at ImageIQ. We're going to be discussing a solution that ImageIQ created for an orthopedic device company that was developing a new implant. The client was trying to measure bone in and bone on growth by having multiple technicians manually score hundreds of histology slides. They were frustrated by the lack of speed, imprecision, the cost, and the variability of their manual scoring techniques. The primary concern here was that the subjective and qualitative nature of their data might slow down or prevent regulatory approval. So working with the client, ImageIQ developed a custom methodology which incorporated both automated, large field of view, two-dimensional histomophometry and three-dimensional micro-CT. In this study, we'll discuss some of the challenges faced by our engineers and what the results were. So Amit, the first challenge you mentioned was finding a less subjective way to image, analyze, and visualize the entire implant without having to manually review and score hundreds of 2D histology images using a microscope. Can you explain to me how you guys accomplished this? So we utilized two different modalities to assess bone growth, micro-CT imaging and large field of view microscopy. Initially, micro-CT imaging and subsequent analysis using our customized algorithms provided a comprehensive volumetric view of bone growth in and around the entire implant. Next, the specimen was then histologically section, cross-sectioned and imaged using a large field of view microscope for 2D analysis of bone ingrowth at sub-micron resolution. So how do you actually go about defining bone growth in micro-CT data and then again in 2D histology data? As you can see in the images, the scaffold material in the implant is much denser than the surrounding bone and therefore brighter in the micro-CT scan. Furthermore, because of its differences in chemical composition compared to native bone, the scaffold also stains with distinct color profiles and histological cross-sections. These differences enable implant segmentation using his intensity and morphologically based algorithms tailored to each mod modality. Once the scaffold material is subtracted from the image, we are able to define new bone formation using several 2D and 3D neighborhood-based segmentation routines for histologically and micro-CT acquired data respectively. This is very interesting. However, what about validation? How can we be confident in the data? Utilizing automated and customized analysis approaches to both micro-CT and histo histologically-based techniques provides two distinct methods for verifying new bone formation. In this particular case, the histological bone ingrowth and ongrowth was also manually scored by trained technicians with excellent correlation to the quantitative data provided by our automated histological analysis. This data in turn correlated very well with our micro-CT results. Can you explain to me the benefit to actually acquiring both micro-CT and histology? Aren't we just increasing the client's overall cost and workload? Actually, it's just the opposite. Um, there are several advantages to using both modalities. First, micro-CT analysis enables quantitative assessment of the entire implant, and it's not necessary to painstakingly section the, the whole specimen for histological analysis. Days spent cutting and staining sections can now be reduced to less than an hour of micro-CT image acquisition and automated analysis using our customized algorithms. Second, confirming that the micro-CT analysis correlates well with the automated and manually scored histology will enable you to use histological sectioning as a validation step rather than your sole means of assessing bone formation and implant efficacy. Finally, using both techniques provides an independent means to assess bone formation for correlation. Using this multimodality approach, our client can significantly strengthen their regulatory approval application. Currently, ImageIQ is working with the client to establish custom tailored protocols that have the potential to reduce the cost and time spent on histology by 75% while still producing gold standard quality device efficacy data. Well, that wraps up this review of how ImageIQ helped one of its clients improve their implant bone in and bone on growth data. If you found this case study helpful and would like to see others, please visit our website or give us a call. Thank you.